we are starting the vlog in the car, as always. Right now, we're at the beach. I'm literally sitting in the car looking at the water right now because we found this beach. It's called Huguenot Beach. There's a couple of them. Well, actually, there aren't that many in Jacksonville that let you drive on the beach. There's one in St. Augustine that we found. But this is one of the few beaches in Jacksonville that lets you drive on the beach. So we came here today. My brother's still visiting. Vernon is here. <laughs> There's LJ right there. And um, yeah, we got food to grill, so we're about to grill on the beach and have a good day. And I can't really talk because it's so windy outside, so cue the montage. Yesterday we went to the beach and we had an amazing time. We barbecued, we had some drinks, like we made some strawberry daiquiris and like pina coladas before we went there. So it was a really great time. But when we got home, I was so tired. You know that tired when you just swim and you're just exhausted because you've used every muscle in your body? That was me. So when we got home, I literally just got in the bed and went to sleep. So this morning I woke up and I cleaned everything. The kitchen is clean. I'm doing like a bunch of loads of laundry. And I'm actually about to edit and upload the vlog from my hair event. So hopefully that will go up today. I really want it to go up today so you guys can see it. And um, yeah, I'm about to get to editing. <laughs> go grocery shopping I need to get some food for the week I need to basically like buckle down and really plan out my meals so before I go grocery shopping I'm gonna look up some recipes online because I'm a very picky eater and I usually end up with stuff I don't even like so that's what I'm about to do right now so I don't know if you guys can see that trash bag that was awkward <laughs> um the trash bag over there but I bought a watermelon yesterday and when I cut it open today, it was rotten and I was so mad. It was a huge ass watermelon and I couldn't even eat it. I'm so indecisive about what I want to eat every single week that I have a folder in my phone specifically for these moments where I have no idea what I'm going to eat, but I need to hurry up and figure it out so I can go to the store before they close. And my favorite app out of them is Tasty. I know you guys have probably seen them on the internet, like they make a bunch of cooking videos. And Tasty has this like vegan, I think it's like a vegan French toast. And I think it will be really good. Let me see. Tasty's also where I got the recipe for my vegan mushroom stroganoff. That's really good, but I've had that too many times. So I need something new, fresh and new. Where's the vegan French toast? Okay, here we go. Creme brulee French toast. Is this vegan? This is not vegan. I could have sworn. Here's vegan cinnamon rolls. I mean, vegan French toast. Oh, no, they don't have it. <laughs> I mean, I think I could probably do it. That's a little OD though. That's a lot of work. I hate grocery shopping so much. So I found some stuff for dinner. We're gonna do some jambalaya for dinner. I'm gonna do a pesto chicken green bean tomato dish for lunch. And then for breakfast, I am not making French toast every day. So I'm gonna look for like a freezer dairy free version of French toast sticks. But if not, I'll just do my fruit parfait that I always do. Ooh, speaking of that, I need fruit. <laughs> I need some strawberries. But um, yeah, I'll just do my granola and my yogurt and I'll get some. There's this chicken sausage by Applegate, I think is what it's called and it's so good. So I'll probably get that as well.
Serve them all and it's good, good. So I got this chicken andouille sausage because I'm really trying to cut back on when I use pork and beef when I cook. And I don't have a problem with pork and beef. I just know it's not the best for me. So I try to limit it as much as possible. And chicken sausage is the shit. <laughs> if you haven't tasted it yet, it's really good. So I'm using this Cajun style andouille. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, this Cajun style andouille sausage for my jambalaya. I am currently getting all the ingredients prepared for this sheet pan jambalaya. So I'm not going to be cooking this on the stove. I'm going to be cooking it in the oven, which is going to be very, very interesting. But I already have my rice cooking over here. So I hope this comes out good. So I basically just added the peppers and the chicken sausage and the onion to the pan. And now I'm going to take some olive oil and just put the olive oil all over those ingredients. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Creole seasoning and put that over everything. And then I'm gonna top that off with some black pepper. And a little bit more Creole, a little bit more. <laughs> all right. And once I've mixed all the seasonings and the olive oil together, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for about eight minutes just so the vegetables can cook down and the chicken sausage can brown. So the chicken and the vegetables are out of the oven and now I'm going to add the shrimp and the tomatoes. <laughs> chicken green bean tomato basil meal and the pan is looking really full but honestly at this point I'm just mixing but it looks very promising I hope it's good and here is the final result y'all I feel like a chef okay so I'm gonna show you guys the app where I got this recipe and the jambalaya recipe let me just find it real quick okay so it's this app right here the tasty app and they show you exactly how to make it look. It looks exactly the same. Okay, okay. But yeah, I actually was supposed to make this for lunch, but I didn't have time today, so it's gonna be my dinner. But yeah, this is exactly how I made the meal and it came out good. So I really like the Tasty app because they give you like super quick and easy meals and I'm a very no fuss person. So something I did do though is I added mushrooms to this because I absolutely love mushrooms it's funny the things that you hate when you're a kid because oh my flashing y'all <laughs> okay but yeah when i was a kid i i hated mushrooms like my mom and my brother would saute them up and eat them plain and i thought they were the weirdest people and then i don't even know when it happened but one day i just fell in love with mushrooms so your taste buds change as you get older but i went ahead and sauteed some mushrooms on the side just because i thought that that would taste good together and now we're gonna do a little taste test. Okay. Hmm, the mushrooms taste good. <laughs> Let's taste the chicken and the tomato. Let's get a little tomato up on this thing. Another thing I love, tomatoes. I eat tomatoes plain. long hair problems. This chicken is good. Oh my God. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> Y'all, I'm an adult. So all I seasoned this meal with was salt and pepper. 
in this pesto sauce and I want to show you guys which one I got because I feel like that makes a difference if this thing would focus but yeah I feel like the type of pesto sauce you get makes a big difference because this is like the main flavor of the meal but this is really good and I'm currently in the middle of my wash day so what I like to do is and I'm sure I've talked about this like a thousand times but I like to do my wash day in two days so I'll detangle and wash my hair the first day and then I'll deep condition and style the second day but honestly all I did was detangle because now that I use the diva curl wash day wonder I detangle first so I went ahead and detangled my hair and then I got tired so I'm gonna finish wash day tomorrow but yeah this thing hitting right here that's real good real good <laughs> I might have some wine with it, but I didn't have enough time to let my wine like warm back up. I'm gonna show you guys this really good wine that I've been drinking lately. So this wine right here, if you can see, it's Diseño and it's an Argentina, <laughs> it's an Argentinian, it's a Malbec from Argentina, a Malbec. I don't know how to pronounce these things. I just know Pinot Noir because that's what I usually drink, but I've been branching out and trying some different things. So this is a Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. I got this at Walmart for like $11. It's so good. It's very lush and smooth and velvety. And I'm the type of wine drinker where I like it to have like some acid. I like the bitterness. Like, you know when you drink wine and your tongue feels dry? I love that. <laughs> but this is not like that at all. This is very like, just very, very smooth. And I think Malbecs are pretty smooth as a whole, like the grape. Um, so it's not really, I don't really, I've had one while back before and that's why I don't like them cold because they really lose like their flavor in my opinion and like their body. But this is a very like soft, flavorful, just smooth, smooth wine. It's really, really good. And I'm probably going to drink that tomorrow when I make this again or when I just warm up my leftovers because I hate cold wine. It's like disgusting. It defeats the whole purpose. But yeah, I'm feeling real proud of my meal. Hopefully Vernon likes it. And um, what I was saying earlier about how I'm like no fuss when it comes to meal meals, I am the type of person, like I'll wait until I'm starving before I cook. So I usually like to make really, really easy meals so I can just hurry up and eat. And the Tasty app, and this isn't sponsored or anything, but the Tasty app is seriously like one of my go-to apps because I have like five of them on my phone, like just meal apps because I'm always searching for something new because with the dairy allergy, like there's not, I don't want to like have a limiting belief so let me not say that it can be difficult to find like satisfying comforting meals without cheese or milk in them so the tasty app is one of the few apps that gives me like variety in the dairy-free department so i am very happy i'm gonna stop gushing <laughs> let me go ahead and eat my dinner i'm actually about to watch twilight because if you guys have amazon prime the entire twilight collection is on amazon prime um and what is it called prime video and i was a twilight head okay i would get the books like as it when i was in high school i would get the books and read them in one night those thick books and I watched the first one last night and I tell you, I fell right back in love. I got right back like super sucked into the plot. Like the books are definitely better. I think I'm going to read the books after I watch the movies on the, on the Prime video. But just the movies, like they are lit. Like seriously, they had some good aesthetics. They had, I mean, everybody was hella angsty. Like, you know, the teenage vibe was really strong in those movies. But still, like the aesthetic was, it was popping. So I'm going to watch that and wind down for the rest of the night and um, I may come back on here because tomorrow I need to style my hair. So I think I'll probably come back on here tomorrow and show you guys what I do. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be nice, isn't it? I'm done with this. I'm old age. As long as I'm human, I'm the only solution to change me. That's not a solution. It's a tragedy. Hey guys, so I just got done filming the final results of my hair. I ended up using a new product combo that you all actually requested on Instagram stories. So all the details for this hair is in the video that probably will be up before this vlog. So I'm going to link it on the screen for you guys and in the description box, but it'll show you guys exactly what products I use and it's a new combo that I'm absolutely loving and I'll probably use again because this is first day hair, y'all. I usually don't get like extra great first day hair on the first day, so 
I'm excited. <laughs> and let me tell you, vlogging with this camera hurts like a lot. So I'm actually about to go get some stuff for tacos. I have really been trying to be very like conscientious with my money. Vernon and I both have been trying to cut back on how much we eat out. I know usually in the vlogs we go get sushi and go to a restaurant and it's Friday now. So we usually reserve the restaurants for like the weekends, but I want to continue because we're doing so good. I want to continue saving money and I'm gonna go get some stuff for some tacos tonight. Um, because I'm really craving something other than what I've been eating all week. Like the food that I made at the beginning of the week was great, but I've been eating it like every day all week and I'm tired of it. So I'm about to go to Walmart or Publix, I haven't decided which, and just go get something to eat for dinner. But this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, I know that only like a certain percentage of you all like vlogs. So for y'all who are like the vlog lovers, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chill with us. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next one.